welcome back to the video in today's video we will learn about the importance of linux and why it is so relevant in today's world and why we need to learn it all right all the aspect we will cover in this video so stay tuned and watch the full video so linux the invisible engine of the digital world all right uh, so you may not realize it but right now in your life you are using linux whether it be in the format of websites that you are visiting or whether it is the phone that is in your pocket or the rockets in the space they all use linux in one or the other format they use linux now in today's world linux is one of the most important operating system and there's a reason why you should care all right that we will look upon in this video so this meme was going quite a viral so here you can see the headquarters of ios is there that is quite huge in size then windows is there again it is a very beautiful building but down there you can see a guy that is uh into his room apartment and he is just running one computer machine that is also in a standing position right so people find it quite funny that how this guy have created this whole empire of uh linux from this room small apartment all right so this was going quite a viral uh but yeah let's go further first of all you should be asking is what is linux so we all know that linux in some or the other form it is nothing but it is an operating system all right operating system you can think it as a computer's brain all right it runs all the program manages all the files and then connects through hardware and software all right it is the connecting part between the hardware and software so linux is one of the brain just like windows or mac os all right but the main point here is it is completely free and open for everyone to see and improve basically that is it is having a community that runs the whole linux all right and it can run almost anywhere that is the good thing about linux so first of all it is open uh, free and open source uh, operating system like windows or mac os but community driven all right the community is important here powers everything from phones to supercomputer so very very important point here next let's see the birth of linux this guy in 1991 when he was a uh, 21 years old computer science student in finland so he just created his name is linus torvalds he just created uh, a operating system that he can use he called it as just a hobby all right and put it online after that people found it amazing uh, to use it and programmers from all over the world joined in and then that hobby grew into the backbone of today's modern computing right so that's a very very interesting story and inspiring story that what one guy how one guy can change the whole world around this modern computing all right so he not only created the linux but also he created a github as its side project right so you should study about him he is the whole subject that you can study upon all right so very interesting one uh next why linux is special why we should learn about linux you may have windows you may have mac os right why should we care so first of all it is uh imagine it as a car engine that is free in nature and that comes with a full repair manual and then can be fitted into anything all right whether it's a small place or large space it can fit into anywhere from a small bike to even a large spaceship all right and more important thing that it is no company owns it right and the world smartest people keeps improving it and all of it is free in nature 
so that is what linux is so first of all it is free second is it is open source anyone can improve third is it is flexible in nature runs on almost anything all right that is why linux is very very special next so even if you have never installed linux trust me you are using linux whether it is in the form of android phones android runs on the linux kernel all right if you don't know then it runs in google searches facebook netflix even in atms and stock exchanges and it is not only limited to this it is also used in nasa's mars rover all right isn't it amazing so 100% of the top 500 supercomputers use linux in some way or the other right so that is why linux is very very important let's move to next slide and look at here the comparison when it comes between linux windows and mac os uh imagine windows and mac os are like ready made apartments that is you can't make much changes but linux is like owning your own land where you can decide what to build what to decorate and how to expand it and you never pay rent right that is what linux is for you so here you can see price linux is free windows is paid mac os is paid open source yes linux windows and mac os no customization full control you have in linux windows and mac os it is limited in nature viruses it is very rare and in windows it is quite common and mac os also rare all right so runs on old pc yes windows struggles mac os no all right that is the differentiation between linux windows and mac os all right now when it comes to security point of view linux is built with security in mind all right its permission system that is very unique in nature it makes it hard for viruses to spread okay that is why ethical hackers and cyber security prefers to use linux okay they use tools like kali linux uh, are even industry standards for ethical hacking all right and it is so stable that some servers even run it for years without even rebooting it right so few viruses strong permissions is their favorite for cyber security and runs for years without reboot so again a plus point here we get for linux all right next it is a types of linux so linux comes in many flavors called distributions or distros all right so all share the same core but are tailored for different needs okay uh even beginners can use it or even power users or security experts or even servers all right for the usage of servers it's like choosing a car model that suits your driving style all right everyone have different driving style so according to that it they can choose their own distros so that's a very good point here uh example you can see here a uh, beginner you may you may use uh, ubuntu linux mint all right if you are an advanced person then you can use arc gento then for security purpose kali linux parrot and then servers debian centos so basically uh, almost all flavors are there that you can choose from all right so some myths and truths are there so basically i would say old linux was little tough but modern linux is quite beginner friendly and you can even install apps in it okay it's a myth that you can't install apps with in linux but it is a myth now thousands of apps are available in mac os and even you know not only for techies but also for schools offices and home users can also use it all right it is quite beginner friendly all right next uh from the you know economic point of view or from ethical side point of view uh 
saves millions in license fees or i could say even government and companies save millions by using linux all right instead of paid systems so it also it is an ethical choice why it is an ethical choice because technology it is owned by the people not by any company okay so basically no monopoly is there all right no corporate corporate monopoly is there and empowers poorer nations all right some government use linux as their official operating system that you can search it in the google all right uh next the biggest advantage of this is the community why because linux is not made by one company it it is built by millions students companies and hobbyist all right so all over the world people are contributing to make this community this massive community means uh, bugs are fixed fast and new features appear all the time all right so it is quite advanced in simple words all right so innovation at lightning speed next how to try linux so either you can live reboot from usb if you have downloaded it in usb you can directly live uh, boot it next option is dual boot so even if you are using windows or mac os you can run the uh, linux using virtual machine so for windows you may use virtual box for mac os you may use utm all right there are other virtual machine are also there using that you can do it or also you can use it as a, as your main oil operating system all right so you can if you are a beginner you can start with ubuntu or mint all right those are quite beginner friendly so next comes the future of linux you may be uh, wondering whether it will be you know beneficial in the future so i can say one thing that linux is the backbone of ai cloud computing cyber security and many more other fields or even space exploration all right so basically the future of tech will be built on linux learning it is a future proof even it will dominate the space and robotics in the coming future and uh, iot self driving cars it is whatever you say it everywhere linux is present all right so linux is not just a software right it is a freedom it is a freedom of expression it is a community and a power right so you are already relying on it in every day day to day basis but now it's time to make it yours all right you are already using linux but now it's time to control it all right so i hope you have liked this video and subscribe this channel for more informations like this i will meet you in the next video of linux